Let's add a phone number on iMessage on your iPad or iPhone. Now, first just open up the settings on your iPhone or iPad, it works the exact same. And the first thing we need to do is make sure that your phone or iPad is fully updated. You can see currently is iOS 26.2, just update it to the latest version. The next thing we're gonna do is make sure your phone number is added to your account, and then also make sure it's enabled for iMessage. So let's add it to your account first. And to do that, we need to get to your settings for your account. You'll be able to see on here a bunch of information about you. All I need to do is go in here and you can find email and phone numbers. Now, if you just have your email address on here, all you need to do is hit add email or phone number and then just add a phone number. Keep in mind, a phone number is required to be added to your Apple account so that you can send and receive messages through that phone number on your iPhone or iPad. Now, after we've done that, we can actually physically enable that in the settings, but we need to get to your messages settings. So go down to the bottom until you find messages. And on here, you'll be able to see iMessage. Keep in mind, this is different from SMS text messages. These are iMessages just to Apple devices through your Wi-Fi or cell data. Now, as long as iMessage is turned on, you can choose to who you can reply and send iMessages from. Now, if your email address is selected here, keep in mind it might send and receive email text messages, but you can uncheck the email and make sure that phone number is checked instead. Now, when you send or receive text messages through iMessage, it'll use your phone number.